Hey guys, so let's talk about a credit card processing company that claims to be 2A, yet they're taking their cues from every town for gun safety. What is up Wolverines and welcome back to my little piece of paradise known as John Crump News. I'm your host for today, John Crump, and I report on everything gun related from 2A cases to new laws to everything in between. If you need me a big favor, like the video, comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the algorithm. Today we are brought to you by JM4 Tactical. JM4 Tactical is a holster company and it's the holster that I carry exclusively. They also have a new thing. It's a coffee subscription service. So every month you can get JM4 Tactical coffee and it is delicious. Trust me. Today we're going to be talking about the 80% world and credit card processing. Specifically, Elevon, which is the credit card processor for almost every 80% company out there. And now they are taking kind of an anti-gun stance. They are supposedly 2A friendly, but yet they are using every town to determine where 80% can be shipped to. You might say that they're just trying to protect their business by preventing people from shipping Unserialized frames to states where unserialized frames are illegal, but there is a little issue with that. A couple of the states do not currently ban 80%. If you look at Nevada, Nevada did pass a law banning 80%, but a court threw it out and it's still being litigated. So right now you can still buy a unserialized frame in Nevada. And then you have Illinois. Illinois did pass a law against unserialized frames, but that's not due to go into effect until November. But Elvon is using the Everytown map, which already has both states marked off as prohibiting the sale of unserialized frames, which is not true. So Elevon is using this and they're asking their merchants to provide them proof that they're not shipping any unserialized frames to these states. That is causing a problem for a lot of the dealers that are smaller that don't have an automated system to reject orders from prohibited states. A lot of them just look at the order and will cancel them if it's going to a state like California or New York or somewhere else that bans unserialized frames. And the biggest problem is that not all the states that Elevon is listing ban 80% kits as of today, which I think is the biggest problem. I reached out to Elevon to try to get their comment and their side of the story, and they did not want to talk. Their answer was no comment. I have a feeling that it was probably every town or some other anti-gun group, pretty sure it was every town, were pressuring them to stop dealing with companies that sell unserialized firearms, and they probably figured this was a good compromise. But the map is flawed. They're using information from an anti-gun group that hates unserialized frames. So, of course, they're going to list other states that don't specifically ban unserialized frames. It's their MO. They always try to push the boundaries. So, what can these companies do? I think that they should dump Elevon and go with a pro 2A company. One of the 2A companies out there is 2A Commerce, and they do credit card processing for the gun industry, and they are really, really no compromise. So if you are looking for a deal, go to 2A Commerce, reach out to me, I'll hook you up with those guys. They are not hard to get in touch with, and I have a connection over there, so it could help you. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you very much. Stay ever vigilant. Stay ever free. Keep in the fight. I am out of here. Wolverines, motherfucker.